Well, in uh, the time I've been in broadcasting, digital has um, started as sort of a um, uh, kind of a shiny object over here that uh, not a lot of people in media, honestly, paid a ton of attention to. And in some cases, actually considered it a little bit dangerous because it was sort of a new competition, particularly in the area of print. Uh, fast forward to today and digital is um, as important, honestly, if not more important than our broadcast product. And we pay very close attention to our digital analytics, uh, particularly uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube is probably more important now than Facebook. Uh, Facebook for a very long time um, and it's still important, don't get me wrong, but um, more and more and more for television, at least YouTube and our analytics on YouTube are how we measure uh, success. Uh, we do use Instagram to some degree, but uh, YouTube and then secondarily Facebook are the social media uh, that we pay most attention to. As far as our other digital platforms, um, our website is really the heart of our uh, news publishing. We publish a lot of video on our website as well. And now we're into uh, streaming apps. So we have a free streaming app and measure the views and the minutes watched on our streaming app, which is available on Roku, Fire TV, as well as Apple TV. So um, I, my parent company is, um, I work for the NBC station in St. Louis. We're owned by a media company named Tegna. Uh, and Tegna has put a tremendous amount of uh, investment in its uh, streaming technology. So we look more and more at the analytics there as well. It's a lot of numbers to keep track of on a daily basis. So are you, are you able then to effectively track the source of views wherever they may be? Um, in other words, where are they coming from? Where are they going? Right. Uh, referral traffic, I think, is uh, what you're pertaining to it, you know, and it depends on the platform, honestly, um, like in the over the top OTT, over the top, the video streaming, uh, honestly, we know very little. <laughs> um, we have a limited window into who our audience is and where they're actually coming from. I mean, we know if somebody's watching on Roku, um, and we have a sense of where they live based on what we're able to glean um, from IP addresses and so forth, but uh, very little there. Um, on the other extreme, uh, YouTube, for instance, tells you, because they're Google, right, they tell you just about everything about uh, the audience. So you have really granular demographic information, um, place, uh, the content that they're viewing, how long they're viewing it, um, you know, when they drop out of the content, uh, you know how they're engaging with the content as, as, as much as who they are. And then Google Analytics is really our source for information about our website audience. And um, we know a fair amount. Uh, we have a sense, I mean, obviously gender, you have a sense of who's watching, you have a rough breakout of ages. Um, but I have to tell you, um, we don't, uh, you know, we don't really overthink um, our content. We don't make our content decisions necessarily on who we believe to be watching. Um, or consuming, and maybe that's, um, you know, I speak just for my own media company, and it could be done differently somewhere else, certainly. It's almost there's so much numbers that you can't just, you have to just stay trained on what's newsworthy, what do we think is going to generate 
you know, um, engagement? You know, who, what are people going to react to and what are they going to watch? We know certain types of content tends to do better than others. And so we really spend our time focused on that. 